have 11 and a half pound clay. This is going to be an extra large cat. If you've seen my work, you know I make a lot of critters. So, I'm going to center using just enough water. In that top because I need to expand that later. So it's thicker at the bottom and goes thinner towards the shore. Top. Yeah. Architecturally it has to be. I see that's right. Yeah. So just yes, basically anything. So right now Good. it's about five eighths mm. up here. About a quarter. So there's more clay down there for me to gather, so I'm going to go down there and grab some more of this. I'm currently at 15 inches. water, I catch it here, and then recycle it. Okay. Right, gather some more clay here. Come straight up. Approximately equally in and out. Yeah, the inside pressure is just above the outside pressure. 
creating that weird shape, which forces the clay to stretch, which translates into height. I'm not going to do any more. I could have gone a lot more here, but I let off yeah. so that I have some flexibility later on in the throwing. Let's see where we're at now. We're at 18. Okay. Now, this is a cat, so I'm going to give it some breath here. See, in the same shape as the face. And then right here, it's going to really collar in. The inside, the outside. Just where I need it. And you use 12 pounds? This is 11 and a half. I waited just before I came on the wheel. So I'm just giving it some breath here. Minimize minimal points of contact. Just about maxed out where this clay can go. I'm going to hit it with a rib now. Compressing. Be free to stop in one spot if you feel like you need to remain there until the transition is complete. Sometimes the mistake we make as potters is we move through a area that needs a little more attention. Okay, I'm just going to fine tune this shape. This is the body of the cat. It's not going to change any further from this point. So I'm going to hit this area with some heat to give me the strength to finish the top half. Let's get the water out. So I probably lost a little height there. I'm about 16 and a half. choking, I want to go back up in my height.
stop from wobbling, I can do this, but I gotta keep my hand some steady pressure, corresponding pressure on the inside. Keeps keeps all of it on center while I complete this shoulder and neck transition. Good. Just a little more right here. Okay, it's just about done. I'll lay out that top just a little more. This is going to be, and I'll show you the picture of it afterward. I make a product called the Naughty Cat. This is the extra large version, which sometimes is as short as 19, sometimes it's as big as 21, depending on how well I'm throwing that day, how stiff the clay is. It usually has more to do with it than anything. Clay out of the package is never good enough to do this. You have to dry it out overnight. that up. This is not too, not too dissimilar from what I do when I make my birds. This is going to be a head of a cat. So I'm going to trim off that edge. Ears will add another inch and a half to two inches to the overall height. I don't like my cat to have a little personality. I'm going to give it a bit here, a little here. And then I'll go back to torching it. I'll torch it until I see the head begin to plate and I'll poke a hole.